Springfield, Depot Bar and Grill. A local women's clothing boutique in Springfield has been embraced by the community and they are growing. In fact, they had to move to a bigger spot recently. <laughs> this is their story. My daughter Olivia and I started Hay Bale in November of 2015 at the local Christmas sampler. From there, it just took off like a rocket. In uh, February of 2016, we moved to the Trimble Building, which is located on the, just right off the square in Springfield. And then in March of 2018, we came over to our new location that we're so excited about, the 638 Building on the square. Tell me about this new building here. It's pretty special, isn't it? It is. Um, hadn't had much activity on this part of the square in, I guess, 60 years. But this building has been completely renovated by the owners, and we were excited to get the invitation to come over to, to bring hay bale to everybody. Let's talk about your inventory for a minute. It's very special. We carry um, sizes small through 2 or 3X jeans for all different sizes and ages. We like to carry a variety of styles too, um, whether it's just a casual day out with the girls or it's a fun date night, if it's a holiday. We try to have something that's for everybody here. And you have jewelry too, don't you? We do. We carry several different lines of jewelry, um, dif differing in styles and prices. Um, some long, some short chokers, pretty trendy, but some pretty um, staple pieces too. We just wanted to create a, a boutique that where everyone could shop, where there was a good price point for the community, where sizes were available for everybody to be comfortable to come in and shop. Tell me about everything that went together in putting together this beautiful store. It's been a lot of fun recreating the historical building known as the 638 and the original home of WSIX Radio. And so we tried to stay with um, the historic amenities that we have here and using the original green color in the on the trim that was part of the original 638 building and we've opened up upstairs to create a beautiful um, refreshing studio from a radio studio to a clothing boutique. Uh, we got involved in October of 2017 with restorations with the Guthrie family and we were excited to be a part of all those renovations to create it still remain historic, but a beautiful place to come shop in downtown Springfield. Well, there you have it, Robertson County. Be sure to go on by Hay Bale's new beautiful store. You won't regret it. And if you know of another business success story in Robertson County, be sure to let us know. And remember, when you're looking for news that's important to you, turn to the news leader in Robertson County, Smoky Barn News. Congratulations. Thank you. Y'all come see us. Hi, I'm Michael Van Dyke, and I'm running for Sheriff of Robertson County. I've been blessed to serve as your Chief Deputy Sheriff for the last eight years, and I'm the only candidate that has executive level leadership experience and has led and managed a successful law enforcement agency. I'm very proud of our award winner Sheriff's Office team and its successes. We have cut property crimes in half, personal crimes by a third, and increased our proactive drug enforcement cases by over 500%. We have worked hard to improve school safety over the last eight years by increasing the number of school resource officers and providing safe safety and security assessments to all Robertson County schools. I'm committed to safer schools and communities within Robertson County because I love Robertson County. This is where I graduated high school, met my wife, started my career at this sheriff's office, and where we are raising our children. I'm blessed that God has given me the ability to lead a successful sheriff's office team who cares deeply about the safety and security of our county. I'm asking for your vote so that our team may continue to be dedicated to enhancing and protecting the quality of life of Robertson County.